video we're gonna do how to do resource schedule costing but if you have any question I left my email address in the box below first to start with we have two department like one in the post office for billing and the second is for the mail room so when you come to the resource we schedule the as like the busy time you're paying in 7.75 uh, currency whatever uh, per hour and for the mailer you're paying him 5.15 uh, currency per hour as well as for the idle you're paying him 7.75 and 5.15 and per usage which is like for every job he does you pay him this amount and when he's idle you pay him the same amount as busy and this is very uh, realistic because usually you pay someone per hour over the whole day so if he's idle like, there is no work to do uh, you have to pay him uh, one more thing like uh, if the person is too much idle per day it's not his fault it would be the fault of the supervisor like he would be have hired too many people more he should uh, if I come here to the schedule uh, for both of them I just want to show you one thing if you come here to the resource both them capacity is based on uh, schedule we have so if I come to the schedule here as 8 so you could see I want to show you one thing for the first 135 minutes there is like one of each for the next 15 minutes break and then he works 90 minutes and then he break an hour and then he works 90 minutes and he has a break, break of 15 minutes then he works 45 and then he works infinite so all the way till he stops, till he finishes duty, till he finishes duty. So if the replication parameters, if the replication parameters is like 900 minutes, so the infinite part he will stay as one for 900 minutes all the way till he finishes replication length. Okay, so uh, he has two breaks. So if I have a program which is like 480 minutes. So you would be 8 hours, 480 minutes, 8 hours, and then if I click on results, so we have uh, other costs and the busy, the idle, and the user's cost. So if we come here to resource cost, but we need them in detail, so the busy cost for the biller is, uh, sorry, it's over the one here, is $39, and then for the mailer, it's $29 and the ideal cost I would presume it is the same it's 11 and 7.7 because it was less ideal than the other concerning the user's cost as you can see here he has made 6.16 and 6.1 as a uh, uh, biller and the mailer here okay so but the um, uh, coordinates here they are very as if it is the logarithmics are very close to each other uh, so if you have any question pl please email email excuse me email me on the address below thank you